Hey everyone, this is Eric Bond, the founder of BeatTheGMAT.com, and today I wanted to do a hands-on review of the new official guide for GMAT Review 12th edition app. So this is the very first mobile app that has been produced by GMAC, which is the company behind the GMAT test. It currently sells for $4.99 on iTunes, and you can get it for your iPod, iPhone, as well as iPad. This app has a number of really, really cool features. So why don't we go ahead and take a closer look together. Okay, so right now we are looking at the official guide for GMAT Review 12th edition app on my iPod. And even before we begin looking at some of these features, I want to first say that overall this application has been really, really well executed. Before I started Beat the GMAT, I spent three and a half years as a proc manager at a variety of Silicon Valley firms. And I can recognize when a proc team has put in a lot of effort to refine the user experience and the fit and finish for a product. Uh, this refinement is actually a key differentiator between GMAC's app and other GMAT apps you might find on iTunes, which I believe are a little bit more sloppy in terms of the, their user experience. Uh, so let's look at some of the features that I really like about this app. So one thing that I love is this days until test area right at the bottom that's persistent right on the home screen. Uh, what this is, is um, you can put in your GMAT test date here uh, through these neat little sliders. And um, it's just a nice way to remind yourself every time that you access this app that you have to keep on studying because uh, the clock is ticking. Pretty nice touch. The other thing that I really like is this Q&A area at the bottom. Uh, this is a really good way to, to spend some time, a couple minutes here and there to uh, get some great advice related to admissions. Uh, GMAC has a number of really great experts that they've lined up to write this content for them. Okay, some other content areas that I really like are these math review and grammar review areas. If you go to uh, one of these sections, you'll see that some of the key concepts that are tested on the GMAT are displayed and listed. And uh, you can drill down on each of these concepts to do a refresher of uh, a refresher as well as a review of what this concept is all about. You know, with these features, it's really clear that uh, GMAC had a specific use case in mind. And um, this may be a bit obvious since it's a mobile app, but they really wanted people to get in and get out of the application with whatever time that they had, maybe during their commute or during their breaks at work. Of course, the, along with all these great content areas, um, the most important feature is the ability to practice real but retired GMAT questions. Uh, that is, of course, the centerpiece of this application. To do that, you go to the review questions area at the top of this home screen. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, so when you buy this app for $4.99, it comes with 50 GMAT questions. Uh, you are able, though, to by additional questions, you can get uh, get them in packs of 250 questions for $9.99 each. And I, I think that's a really good value. So uh, you'll see that in this uh, in this practice questions area, you'll see the, the areas of the test broken down into the, the, the key testing areas like problem solving, data sufficiency, sentence correction, critical reasoning, and reading comprehension. To do some practice, it's uh, to, to try some practice questions is very easy. Just to jump into one of these areas and uh, you can begin practicing and interacting with this software. So it's a very easy usability. Um, you look at the question, you select the answer with your finger, and then you hit submit. Now, right now I am in study mode. And what that means is after every single question that I look at or I, that I review, excuse me, um, I will have the ability to look at the explanation immediately. <clears throat> There's another mode called exam mode, which uh, is uh, much more in line with mimicking how the actual GMAT works, where you answer a question, you hit submit, and it immediately takes you to another question. I'm not looking at these, I'm just answering. And um, <clears throat> this is a really helpful feature because pairing that along with this timer that you see at the top right, um, it really gives you a pretty good uh, simulation of what the real GMAT test is all about. A couple more notes about this timer area. This, I think, was a really brilliant uh, little feature to, to add to these practice questions because timing on the GMAT is everything. Uh, in order to do really well on the GMAT test, you really have to be aware of your pacing to make sure that you have enough time to complete all the questions on this test. And 
As someone who has taken the GMAT before, it always seems that you just barely have enough time to answer each question. So uh, the more you can practice your timing, the better. Uh, so a couple of things after you've done these tests, there's a, a number of other areas that are, are really cool to, to, um, to pay attention to. One is uh, GMAC has this cool progress report area here where you can take a look at your performance overall as well as by certain subjects. It's kind of a neat little feature. And additionally, uh, this is something that I thought was very clever. Uh, in this application, you'll also be able to see how you're doing versus other people who are currently using this app. So there's a rankings area where you'll be able to see other people and their scores and um, a little bit of a competition, I guess, built into this application to see who's doing the best uh, and who's ranking the highest among the different subject areas uh, on this application. So that about covers the key features that I really liked about this new official guide for GMAT review 12th edition app. I want to get into some pros and cons I saw with this application as I've been using it over the last few days. Uh, let's start with the pros. So the first is overall the design and usability for this application is fantastic. Um, GMAC did a really good job making this application easy to use and easy to navigate. And that's really important because uh, if you're going to be using this application frequently, it's important for you to be able to use it um, as efficiently as possible as you're getting in and out of the application. Related to that, another pro is that if you're a commuter or someone who wants to practice and review the GMAT during work or uh, as you travel, this is a really great application for you. Um, getting in and out of uh, the content and doing some practice sets is very simple uh, as you have time here and there. I think that the timer function is another pro. Uh, timing is so critical to master uh, when you're practicing the GMAT because uh, one of the biggest challenges of the GMAT is finishing all the questions in time. And finally, the last pro that I see is that this is the only application on the market that shows that features real but retired GMAT questions. And there's no other GMAT related practice app out there that can make that same claim. I see two cons with this application. Uh, and related to what I just said, this application features questions that draw from the official guide for GMAT Review 12th edition. So if you have the book as well as this application, it's drawing from the same set of questions. In the future, I'd like to see GMAC release a version of this application that has fresh GMAT questions that are, are um, only available through this application and not through any book so that uh, this app can be a really nice supplement uh, on top of any books that you're currently studying from. And the second con that I see is that this application currently is not available on Android devices. So I'm a big Android phone user myself, and uh, I'm a little bit bummed out that for this release at least, I can't use it on my phone. But I'm sure that's something that GMAC is aware of and will be uh, solving for in the near future. So overall, I think that if you own an iPod, iPhone, or iPad, that you should buy this application. It's only $4.99, and uh, additional questions are just uh, $9.99, and uh, it's just a really smart way to practice uh, and review for the GMAT. Better than any other GMAT app that I see on the market to date. So uh, that about wraps up my hands-on review of the official guide for GMAT review 12th edition application available for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. I hope that this was useful for you and uh, I wish you all the best of luck in your GMAT prep.